Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Borger and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. This video is very special to me. January the 15th, 2024, I received an email from the Army Painter. They opened for pre-orders of the Fanatic Complete Paint Set. As fast as I could, I put down my order. Last Thursday, I got a call from Thomas from the Army Painter, the lead developer. He wanted to hand this over to me in person because I was the first in the whole world that put down a pre-order on the Fanatic Complete Set. So I was very excited. He wanted to hand it over to me in person and Friday he came by my house and handed over this awesome paint set for me. I was so excited, I was almost speechless and I'm so happy because they took their time to hand it over to me in person. I have to say one thing, I live in Denmark and the Army Painter is also from Denmark and they only have their factory 20 minutes away from where I live. So it was pretty easy for them to stop by and hand this over to me. But still, they took their time to drive by my house and hand me over this in person. That was such an honor. I'm not gonna do an unboxing or anything. There's been plenty of those here on YouTube. On the other hand, I will do a complete coverage test of the 162 colors of the acrylic paints. Last year, I received this sample package from the Army Painter and I was very excited about these colors. I made a test paint on this little miniature and that was actually the reason why I decided to order the complete set. I want to do a test and I laser cut these color cards and first I need to prime them, so we better get started. To make some test cards, I'm using this heavy duty cardboard paper. It is two millimeters thick. I put it through my laser cutter and made a grid so I could put some paint on it. I made three columns on this test card. One for white primer, one for gray primer and one for black primer. I also cut out some covers so I wouldn't overspray where I didn't want the primer. I'm using the Army Painter's own matte white air primer and apply it with my airbrush. I need 27 of these cards, so there's a lot of work in doing all the preparations before I can start putting some color on them. The white primer is drying pretty fast, so now it's time to use the template for the gray primer. This is also a primer from the Army Painter, matte gray from the Air series. And now to the last column, which is black. This is also the matte black from the Army Painter Air Series. I made 30 of these cards in total and now we are ready to test the 162 acrylic paints from the Army Painter Fanatic Complete paint set. The Army Painter was so nice to give me this wet palette so we might as well use this in the test. I prepared it following the instructions that came in the box. For the first test I chose the six yellow colors from the Dynamic Triad. I chose to use the dry brush that came with the set as well because it has the perfect width for the cells in my grid. I also have a piece of cloth to wipe off the brush and a jar with water. But first we need to shake the colors. I shake each paint for 15 seconds before I apply it to the wet palette. Making sure the brush is damp with water, dip it in paint and apply it to the test card. Each card will only get one coat of paint. And I chose the yellows because they are the hardest colors to paint. And usually you need two or three layers of paint before you get a full coverage. I don't want to waste the leftover paint on the palette. So I'll actually dip every single cap of the paint in their respective colors. This is to make it easier for me to see what the respective color of the bottle actually is in the future. We also need to do a comparison test. I have two of the yellows from the old Army Painter war paints, the Bay Blonde and the Demonic Yellow. I don't 
own all the corresponding colors from the old set, but I will try to get as close as possible. The demonic yellow is actually a color I've been happy for in the past, and I'm curious to see how good the coverage of this is. The bay blonde, on the other hand, that color is a pain. And I think it's the worst yellow I have ever worked with or owned in my life. The demonic yellow, on the other hand, that has always been my go-to yellow. And I think the coverage of this is actually almost the same as the new Fanatic paint. Now have a look at this babe blonde. It's thin, it's runny, and it doesn't cover anything. I'll also put down a couple of notes on the cards, like the name of the Triad series and which comparison paint I have used. I don't want to bore you with me painting 26 more of these cards with all the different colors, but this was more like a way to show you the procedure of how I wanted to approach this test. And here are all the done cards. I'll now show you a slideshow of each card with their corresponding colors and bottles, and then I will put each image in the community tab here on the channel. The conclusion to this test is that I think these paints are awesome. They have a very good coverage. I think I will still give it two coats just to make sure that it will cover, especially on gray and black. Over white, they're just awesome. Wet blending and glazing, I haven't done and tried that yet, but I have seen some other YouTubers do that and I think it was a good success. I'm not much into wet blending and glazing. I'm not that kind of a painter. Actually, I'm a very impatient painter and I don't like watch painting dry. I just want to put on the next layer and be done with it. Because for me, it's about getting my models on the table fast. But in the future, I want to improve my skills and do some other stuff with this paint and the consistency of all the colors all over the line, I think that's a good start point for this paint. And I just can't wait to get started painting miniatures. I have one more little issue. One of my favorite skin colors, the Dorado skin from the old series. It didn't color match. And I couldn't find a matching color in the set that matched the Dorado skin, so I have to figure something out in the future. I still have something left in this bottle and I'm gonna stick with this one. Final thing, I don't have room for all these paints and I gotta do something about it. This is my old paint collection and some of it have to go so I can get room for all those 216 colors. The air paints need to stay but the rest have to be kept in storage somewhere else. 
The paint rack is something I built last year using my laser cutter. I designed it myself and it works pretty well. But after putting all these new paints into the rack, I think I need to build some more up here. I still had the design for my layout, so it was pretty easy to modify it so I could extend the new rack. I spent about an hour cutting it out and assembling everything. And this would give me room for 135 more paints. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate you being here. And if you think I earned it and you already haven't done it, please subscribe and like. Maybe put a comment below if you think I missed something in this video. I would really like to hear your opinion on how I did this test. There wasn't time to do much because I also want to paint stuff and not just cardboard. I actually already did. Last Sunday I painted Iron Man and you can watch a couple of pictures here and if you want to see the whole stream, I have it up right here. One last thing, I really want to thank the army painter and especially Thomas and his camera guy Lasse for showing up here at my home handing me over this Fanatic Complete set. If you want to see the video where they handed me over this set, I will put a link in the description below. Hope to see you next week building part two of my temple, the library. Goodbye for now.